Hello, this is a distance learning log on tutorial for science. I'm doing this because we're not sure how long schools will be closed and if they will be closed longer than the expected time of April the 15th. First, you need to access the internet through a browser like Chrome or Internet Explorer and log on to the portal through dateschools.net. After logging on, you'll scroll down and you will find your course. In this case, it's science. You'll also then look for the corresponding textbook link that is across that course. After clicking on the textbook, this clever sign-on page might appear. If it does, click on the center box that says district username password. This may take you to the day school sign-in page. Here you will use your school email, which is just your student number at dayschools.net no spaces and you will put that in this space here. The next space or box you will put the same password that you logged onto the portal with. Bear in mind if your student log on number is 0123456 you will have to write that in no space at dateschools.net in this box here. Use your portal sign in and then click on sign in. It should take you to this page here where you will look on the right hand side at the bottom and click on where it says Pearson Realize. Your programs are to the left. Feel free to browse them as you wish at your leisure. After clicking on Realize, it will take you to this page here. You will click on the classes button that's in the middle to access your classes and your assignments. All the assignments I have put in a specific order. And I did that on purpose to ensure that you'll have success. I intentionally want you to look at the videos first. And the link on the left hand side shows you that this is a link to an internet site. Then uh, I would like you to view the PowerPoint, which is indicated by the cloud because it is found in OneDrive. And it also says PPTX on the, on the right hand side. When you view the PowerPoint, it's very important that you take notes on each section of the PowerPoint like you would in class. This will help you to remember and retain the information. This will also help you when you take the assessment. The assessment, if it has an answer grid on the left hand side, like it does here, it's because this is a test that I made myself. These tests you're able to retake and you're able to check your answers, which you will see in the next slide. As said before, you're able to check your answers if it's a non-Pearson test. If you skipped a question, you should review your progress. Your review progress page will also come up at the end of the test when you're ready to submit it. If there's a check mark, this is a Pearson test or quiz, and you are not able to retake it. But you can open a, a window with the Pearson textbook in it because you cannot check your answers nor retake the test. This is a one time quiz that you'll be able to take. There are pl there's plenty of work already assigned, so complete as much of it as you can before we return to school. If you have any questions, or need to contact me, it's clairvaux at dateschools.net 754-610-3055.